Hi everybody, welcome back to OC Avery where today we're going to see the new additions that we've brought back from the Newark Bird Show. You're going to see a variety of different species today, some of which you've never seen before on the channel. And we've also got some very, very, very rare hybrids uh, which we've brought back as well. Uh, but more on that later in this video. Now if you are new around here and you'd like to see more from OC Avery, make sure to subscribe down below. We're less than 100 subscribers away from our target of 10,000 for the end of the year. So make sure if you aren't, subscribe down below. Regular viewers of the channel will know I have a bit of a problem when it comes to being offered good birds for a good price. I can't refuse them. And I think we're all guilty of it who keep birds or livestock. There's always something else that we've got our eye on that we take a fancy to. And uh, you know, I'm exactly the same. So a bit of a new species, which you did see uh, when we brought back one of them from Stafford, but we've actually brought in four pairs of linnets. Now they are from a very successful line, which I'm so pleased to be owning. I'm very fortunate to be owning. So we've got four pairs of them for the 2020 three breeding season uh, they are absolutely fabulous these european linnets and they're they're a nervous bird by nature so they do need a bit more work on steadying down of course they are cage bred birds they are captive bred uh, and they're closed rung so there's no concerns there and they just need some steadying down. So I have separated and divided them off uh, into individual birds and in individual cages, just to get them a little bit more settled so that we can enjoy them more and I can look to show them perhaps. And, and I think they'll breed better by doing this as well. So they're the first birds is some European linnets. We've got four pairs. Now a bird that does stand out to me in this group is a hand reared hen. She is absolutely fantastic. I think the markings look great on her. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to being able to breed off of her, of course, and the other birds. And hopefully we have a good year with them next year. We have some success with them and we breed some nice birds. And they're all this year's birds as well. So I think we're going to have them for a good few years. A bird that wasn't in the plans to bring back from Newark, but ended up here anyway, uh, was this red factor hen. Now it's a 2022 bred yellow intensive red factor hen. She's a clear bird. And I think she's absolutely beautiful. She, she's absolutely great. I've not had red factors for five or six years now. So it's the first one uh, for me in a long time. Uh, and she's been brought on for the purpose of muling. Uh, and we will talk about mule pairs in the next video, which will be next Saturday morning. I got her for a very good price uh, from a guy who, whose name eludes me right now. But if you're watching this video, thank you very much for it. This is a lovely bird, I must admit. I really like her. Um, and yeah, so she's from, from Mjolin, it's a, it's a young bird, so I can't really go wrong there. And you will see that a bird that is in with her is a linnet cockbird, one of the ones that we did bring back uh, that you've previously seen. Uh, so we're going to have a linnet mule pair for next year, but we'll talk about that more in the next video. Green finches are a big part of the breeding focus here at OC Avery. We had five pairs last year. They're all housed in this custom, you know, purpose-built building for breeding green finches. Uh, so it probably doesn't surprise you that we've brought another one on now. This is a hen from Shane Evans. Shane has a very successful line of green finches. They're absolutely superb and I'm, I'm very pleased to be able to have his line uh, and work with that. Uh, and it's something that I'm gonna be adding to the stud. We built the base, uh, the stud around Shane's line with, with birds coming from him a couple of years ago and his partner Mark. Uh, and, and that is exactly what we're doing now is that we're tapping back into that bloodline uh, for some outcrosses to use for next year. So something else to look forward to for next year is another greeny hen that we've brought on, a 2022 bred bird. She's lovely, I think the colour of this bird is spectacular and something that I'm really excited to have uh, for the future of the stud. I'd also like to just say a huge thank you to Shane at Direct Bird Products, of course, for once again sponsoring the channel, sponsoring the videos, uh, and he's kindly gifted me a rather large amount of buffaloes, uh, which are a frozen live food kind of thing. Um, frozen insects is what they are, uh, and he's gifted me a, a, a big bag of them, which I did collect at Newark. So big thank you to Direct Bird Products for that. I'll leave a link in the description to Direct Bird Products website, their YouTube channel, which is The Bird Room, and their Facebook, so you can get in contact and order all your bird keeping needs. So I mentioned at the beginning of this video that 
we've got some rather unusual hybrids in. Uh, these, well, there's one bird here which I didn't anticipate on bringing back, but we ended up doing it. So what we've got here is a green finch cross chaffinch hybrid. Now it is a hen, uh, which is hence why I've got it. The cockbirds are very expensive. They're hard to breed anyway as a hybrid, uh, and, and people don't generally sell them. Uh, but we have got a hen here which was kindly gifted to me. It's a hand-reared bird as well, and, and I, I absolutely love it. I think it's a lovely little bird. It's starting to take a bit of mealworms, buffaloes, like you've seen like I got from Shane out of my fingers. So really enjoyed you know, having her, and we're gonna have her as not particularly a pet bird, I guess, uh, but she is going to be uh, in, in the bird room for the foreseeable future, especially when the new bird room is done. So that's an unusual hybrid, uh, is a greeny chaffy hen. Now, the next load are a weird group, and I can probably guess that you've never seen these before. At least you've never really seen them on camera, perhaps. You may have seen a photo of them. It's, it's unlikely that you may have even seen them at a show. Uh, these are the first ones I've ever seen in person. So. What we've got here are three common cross build cross mealy red pole hybrids. They were bred by a friend, I'm not going to say his name because we're showing them this season uh, and I'm going to be taking round to the shows for him. Um, but there's three of these now. So common cross build cock with a mealy red pole hen. He previously, uh, about two years ago, had uh, six full eggs from this pair, didn't manage to rear any successfully. This year he bred three, uh, reared successfully. So what we have is two cock birds and a hen. Like I said, never really seen them before. The, the purpose and the reason that I've got them is to train them up for him and take them to the shows throughout this uh, sort of winter. Uh, and I'm, I'm very, very excited to have them on board. Um, and something that you guys can, can see over the winter and over the course of the next few months. Uh, see how they get on at the shows. Uh, and we'll just see what, you know, what they're like. They're a little bit weird in, in their behaviour, I guess. Um, they are a hybrid, and they're a hybrid between two birds that are not particularly sort of similar. So, you know, a red pole, uh, they may have the same sort of habitat uh, uh, and, and what have you, but they're very different looking birds. You've got a little finch and a very, very big finch. So, really exciting to have them on board anyway. Um, the cockbirds look stunning. I mean, I think all three of them look stunning, but there's one of the cockbirds that's just fantastic. The only thing is, is that because they're cross-built, it automatically makes them a nuisance with sort of escaping and messing about. And one of the things that they have been doing while I've been showcase training them is one of the cockbirds likes to pick up his D cup and throw it onto the floor. Uh, and, and, and he's done this five or ten times, and he probably does it two or three times in a training session. Uh, but yeah, so something to look forward to seeing on the channel over the next few months anyway is these common cross-built cross mealy red pot hybrids. Something that I did actually end up bringing back from Newark, which I just thought are a fantastic idea, and I've not really seen any of these for sale for a good price anyway, usually on the, the internet, they're relatively expensive. Uh, but it's, the, it's these blue barrels, and they're just sealable blue barrels that you can dry out and then use for storing seed in them. More vermin proof, it's easy to clean them and disinfect them, and they're really good pieces of kit. So I, I bought a few of those. I'm gonna try and get some more over the winter anyway, so they'll be ideal just storing all sorts of seeds in, whether that be our, our mixers or our straight seeds. Uh, I'm just really looking forward to, to having them actually, because they just make my life so much easier than storing stuff in bags uh, where they can get vermin too. So really good idea, and I do recommend actually you should get some of these, especially if you've got sort of outdoor flights where you might be putting seed just for ease of access. It's really useful. It was great to see so many fans of the channel at the Newark Bird Show, whether you came over for a chat, you came over for a photo, or you came over to buy some birds because we were selling some birds at the show as well. So very nice to see you all. Thank you ever so much for coming along, saying hello. It was really nice to see so many people again. Uh, and I'll say again, yeah, I emphasized this in the last video, some superb birds for sale uh, at that show. Really enjoyed it, even though I was very busy uh, and it was great fun. So thank you to everyone who has supplied the birds that you've seen in today's video. You know who you are. Uh, and if you've, if you've not and you're new to the channel and you want to see more of these guys, make sure to subscribe down below. We're nearly at 10,000 subscribers. So please subscribe, please, please, please. Uh, and then if you have enjoyed today's video as well, make sure to smash a like on it. It's very much appreciated. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.